Is that going now? I think it is. Okay. So, hey everyone, I just thought I would come back here and let's just shift the layer. Uh -huh. I just thought I'd come back here whilst I finish up the last of this arrows puzzle. Hey, buddy. <laughs> and yeah, just thought I would continue this today. And yeah, I hope you'll enjoy it. And <laughs> hello, Lils. Love you too, girly. Have fun. And yeah, um, get going on this. Karen, <laughs> welcome to the stream. How are you today? Hope you're good. Nice from Mexico. That's awesome. Is it hot over there? I know it's probably different temperatures from here in Australia, but. <laughs> Yeah, we've got 10 degrees or something here today, so it's freezing here. <laughs> I'm chilly, shall we say?
If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer them. Yeah, just trying to work out this bits of the puzzle at the minute. So I've just got the background bits left. Now, From Arrow Puzzles, it's um a cheaper brand here in Australia, so it's a it's like only eight dollars at our local Kmart. I don't know if you can get it overseas in Australia, but here in Australia, overseas, but here in Australia, um, it's like eight dollars for um a thousand piece puzzle from our local Kmart here, so. It's sort of not the quality of Ravensburger, but it's at the same time, it's good. Good quality for $8 kind of thing, like in Australian. <laughs> That's pretty decent price. So this is a puzzle here that I'm doing. It's from their fantasy series, but yeah, it's just an $8 brand puzzle that you get from um, our local Kmart here in Australia. It is. with the truffle puzzle I've got some of them in my puzzle collection but <laughs> I've got so many currently in my puzzle collection that it's gonna be a while till I get to them all basically but yeah um, truffle looks like a really good quality brand even though I haven't really done a lot of truffle yet or haven't done a truffle yet but I look forward to getting to it in the future it'll be good it will I've also currently got, I don't know if you can see over here either, but I just received a 9,000 piece bombardment of Algiers in the mail the other day too. So um, yeah, I've got a lot of additions to my collection, including 24,000 piece Life of Duke of Puzzle and many, many others. But I look forward to doing them all in time. It'll be great. What happened I've got a missing puzzle piece and basically I'm waiting to hear back from Ravensburger as to what can happen with the about the missing piece so it came with the missing piece contact Ravensburger Australia I've tried Ravensburger Global heard back from Ravensburger Australia they said they'll pass me on to the head office for Ravensburger then um then I still hadn't heard back from Ravensburger head office and so I contacted the Ravensburger Australia group again and they have passed me back on to the Ravensburger head office again and I'm still waiting to hear back from Ravensburger head office I've tried contacting Ravensburger global 
by Instagram. They sent me to a, this weird Facebook email address, which I emailed to, but have had no response, and it's all just a weird shenanigan of trying to work out getting the puzzle piece replacement for the missing piece that came missing in it. So, yeah, kind of a pain in some ways, but I'm just trying to find out that, but I'm basically going to have to cover it over soon because I've got a 5,000 piece review gradient puzzle coming in the mail from Clemens Habershay as well. So, yeah, I'm sort of hoping that I'll hear back from Raven's merger soon, but I'm still trying to follow up and I can't pack the first quarter up till that's done kind of thing. So in the meantime, I'm working on some other puzzles. And, yeah. Yeah, it is rare, but, um, yeah, so I'm still waiting to hear back for everything. And I've also started sorting the pieces for this one. It's only got a two-year guarantee as well, so. I'm still doing other things whilst waiting, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to put down my second puzzle board on top of this table to start a new puzzle just because of the... Um, the fact that it's taking a while to hear back from Ravensburger and get that sorted, so, but I'm sure it'll happen eventually. But yeah, they said that it's usually only like a 1% chance that things come missing with the Ravensburger puzzles, and unfortunately I just happened to get one of those puzzles, but I'm sure that they will get it sorted out with time. I'm sure they will. I'm sure it will be sorted out eventually. I am. But the funny thing about it was, the one that actually came with the missing puzzle piece was the one that I wasn't expecting to have the missing puzzle piece. The one that I was expecting to have a missing puzzle piece because it had a hole in the bag, which was the first quarter of the bag A making Mickey magic. The, <laughs> the funny thing was, I thought that one would have a missing piece because of the fact that it came um, with a slight hole and there were puzzle pieces that didn't fall out. It didn't have a missing piece. But the other one that I wasn't expecting to have a missing piece did have a missing piece and I didn't lose it. <laughs> yeah, well I look forward to getting it completed with time anyway, but yeah, I'm hoping that I'll hear back from them sooner than later about the missing puzzle piece, so yeah. But eventually I'll have that finished, but I kind of got a review puzzle to go in, a 5,000 piece gradient review puzzle, as I said, coming from Clemens Habershay or the playgroup in their gradient puzzle. And I've got the two year guarantee, the 4,000 piece that I just showed to do temporarily first. And then um, to do first, and then I want to go back to doing the 40,320 piece Raven's Wedge and Making Mickey Magic. and the 18,000 piece one that you see under here. So yeah, I look forward to getting it done eventually. And you, how do I feel about the puzzle I'm doing? Do you mean how, how I like it? Or how do you mean sort of like how I feel about it in general? Or if it's one that I like or how, how exactly are you meaning how do I feel about the one I'm doing? Can I ask? Because I'm sort of slowly trying to compile reviews and stuff and things. But yeah, I'm just curious to know exactly what you're meaning so that I can explain it properly.
I have heard of the brand Gallison, but I don't have any in their puzzles currently in my collection. I don't. I've got multiple different types of brands, but I don't have a Gallison in my brand in my collection yet. Um, and I'm kind of at the point now I've got since I've got over 300 puzzles in my collection waiting to be done, I'm kind of at the point where I'm sort of stopping buying new puzzles for now, just waiting for all the pre-orders that I've got to come in so that then I can focus on finishing or working on and enjoying what I've got because I've got so many to come and so many to do and I just want to enjoy all I have and focus on them. <laughs> so I've yeah, I've got quite a lot in my collection, shall we say. But I'm sure it'll work out eventually. But yeah, I've got so many large puzzles and monster puzzles and all sorts of things. And so I just want to focus on getting to the point where I do and get to do what I've got rather than buying more for now. Oh, it'll be good. It will. But yeah, I have heard of Gallison, but I don't have any from them in that brand at this point in time. the language so like it wasn't anything to do with the group but the fact that I couldn't really understand what was being said and all of that sort of thing it sort of made it hard so I was actually and it's nothing to do with the group but I actually um, just left the group just because of the fact that I was sort of I didn't understand the language or what people were posting I love seeing the images and everything but I sort of decided to leave the group just because of the fact that I just couldn't understand what was going on or what was happening and it sort of made it hard, shall we say, like nothing to do with the group or anything like that. I like the group in general. I just, just because I found it sort of hard understanding the language and the group and all of that sort of thing because I don't understand Mexican, I just felt that for now that, um, I decided to leave the group just because of the fact that I was finding it very hard to just understand things and be a part of things there. But I thought the group seemed very, very nice and I really liked about it. So yeah, it wasn't that I didn't want to be there, it was just I guess that language barrier, that difficulty with the language barrier and that was what sort of made it hard and why I ended up deciding to leave the group just because of the fact that you know I did sort of just find it hard sort of understanding what was going on or what was being said and all of that and it's nothing to do with the people of the group or anything everyone there seemed lovely and nice and I really liked the people there and everything but yeah I just unfortunately didn't understand it so it was hard to sort of interact and be part of things there just because I didn't understand, if that makes sense. But I really did like the group. I just wish that I could have understood things a little more and that sort of thing, which unfortunately I didn't. Just kind of sad. That's the problem like with different languages and not everyone knowing languages too like it's awesome that everyone has their own languages and their ways of interacting with each other and stuff but it is sometimes very hard for someone to come into a group that's predominantly a certain language to find it hard sort of I guess being there with that language just because of the fact that you don't understand it so you find it hard interacting and all of that sort of stuff. 
as much as you enjoy the group, it can be very hard when it comes to those sort of things, if that makes sense. Sure, you're welcome to practice English with me. <laughs> I'm happy to help as best I can. I am? I'm happy to help as best I can. Someone's messaging me on Facebook, I think. <laughs> oh. Are they? Yep, someone's been messaging me on Facebook. Yep. Just let them know it's a friend. Just let them know because they like to sometimes come and view the live stream <laughs> when they can. But yeah, I'm welcome. I'm happy to help you practice your English if you need help with anything as best I can. You wouldn't think buildings would throw a spanner in the works so much, would you? You wouldn't think? But they do. They do. sure how we can practice what do you need help with kind of thing what sort of parts of your English do you need help with keep in mind I'm not an English teacher or whatever so I can only do the best I can but what sorts of areas do you need help with or want help with I guess is the main question
good to see you too, Karim. I hope you have a good rest. Yeah, it's quite different hours of the day between here and over there, I'm sure. So yeah, I hope you have a good day and yeah, I'll see you around another time, I'm sure. Have a good evening and a good sleep. It was nice speaking to you as well. It was.
Back in a minute, I just need to grab a drink and go to the necessities. So I'll be back right in a minute. I will. Be back in a short minute.
finish the puzzle, obviously. I think I'm going to finish it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed this bit of a live stream anyway. And yeah, I will see you later. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back to sorting some puzzle pieces and getting things prepared. But yeah, um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I've finished it all here. Um, you're wondering what the puzzle is again. It's the 1000 piece castle unicorns from Arrow Puzzles fantasy series. In Australia, you can typically get it. It came out for like $8, I think I paid for it. Um, it's good good quality for the price of it. Um, definitely not a Raven's Berger, but you wouldn't expect it to be. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this anyway. Um, I might quickly for a little bit. Um, it's just... Oops. Oh, bugger. I forgot to finish the last, I forgot to record the last little bit of it, doing the last little bit on the time lapse. Whoops, that was my mistake, I forgot to restart it. Uh, okay, yes, I guess I'll just let that go for a little bit and then, yeah, meanwhile, I might start, just continue sorting a little bit of this. Um, I'll see, um, but yeah, so whoops, that was my mistake that I forgot to <laughs> start the time lapse again and I finished it without starting the time lapse, so yeah, I'll have to remember that in the future, but yes, um, just stop that now. I guess it happened, and <laughs> yes, so um, I'll pack that up after, but I'm just going to get out these pieces to continue, these, pack this away, I might just continue with a little bit of sorting of the current puzzle, just so that it's done now the way, because I've got the review gradient puzzle to come to sort, and few different things to complete. So get these out. Fold that away because I'll put that away after. But yes, that was a whoopsie daisy. <laughs> interested is basically through well I'm trying to do it through certain pieces like um, I don't want to lose any puzzle pieces out of here if I can avoid it but basically I'm trying to sort it by the hut the garden the water the sky and the edge pieces because it's the same grid cut for each piece so I'll just continue doing that for a bit. Um, yeah, <laughs> I feel really clumsy, clutz, for forgetting to turn the record back on for the time lapse. Dang it. <laughs> but, guess it is what it is. Really clumsy clots for forgetting that. I can't think you forget to turn it back on again. Uh, guess that's what a tired brain does to you. But yes, I don't have too many pieces left to sort with this one either. So, yeah, look, I've only got about probably a thousand odd pieces or a bit less. To sort. And yeah, if you have any questions or anything you want to ask, feel free to ask them. 
and I'll do my best to answer. So we got our edge pieces there, edge pieces, sky pieces, flowers, water. just preparing some for when I can get to them kind of thing because now I've got a review puzzle. I was going to do this one next and put the puzzle table down but now I've got a review I've got a review puzzle still to a review puzzle coming to do now which takes priority over the others as well so yeah <laughs> excited for it though so but this one only has a two-year guarantee on it so at least the fact that I've got it sorted means that as soon as I've done the review puzzle I can come and get started on this one and get it going and that means that hopefully we'll be able to get it done in that two years and check for missing pieces that's the hope anyway just sitting some pieces on the ground in front of me to sort them so if you have any questions about how I sort or anything feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer but I do I have noticed from personal experiences that some puzzles are harder to sort than others and sometimes you just have to do part of it and then come back to it later on and continue sorting later or that sort of thing or do part of the sorting then go and sort again or all that sort of stuff just because yeah it sometimes makes it a little easier per se by doing it that way because sometimes you're not always sure how to sort it from the beginning sometimes I'll sit here and think for a long while before I even start on my sorting so I will sort of stopped doing a lot of the sorting on camera because I sort of thought that it was probably a bit boring for people but if you want to see me doing the sorting then just let me know and I'll start doing it again but yeah I'm not trying to be boring by any means
might even just end this there though and keep sorting this stuff off camera though just so, because I sort of feel it'll be a bit boring for people to just sit here watching me sort. So yeah, I'm going to end this here anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, um, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you. I really hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you later.